So what we're doing today is um, we're just talking about how to learn songs quickly because I think if you're doing what I used to do, which was session work, you're expecting to learn a song and be able to record it as great as it can be within half an hour kind of thing. So one of the things I used to do was write out little charts. Rather than have to sound good and groove and get all the fills right, and then remember what the song was doing. I used to think, oh, I'll cut that out of my mental process completely by writing it down. So I used to write down eight bars verse, 16 bars chorus, eight bars bridge or whatever. And then as I was concentrating on the groove and what the fills needed to be, I could quickly look over and remind myself how the song was going to end or what the next bridge was. I kept some of the drum parts from albums that I'd done in the past. I brought in the drum part for What I Am, the Edie Bacall track i think drummers especially but young musicians get very afraid of music but all it is is it's a it's a great tool it's a language and what the drum parts that i write down aren't like strictly legal drum parts that are exactly how they should be written it can be anything it can be hieroglyphics because i find it as hard as everybody else to read the dots, as they say. So I just write down rubbish, that, but it means something to me. And I'll write in little signposts for myself as well. I think on the What I Am, Edu Brickell part, I've written in some of the lyrics. You don't get marked down for writing in stuff that makes it easier for you. You get bonus marks for recording a song in 10 minutes instead of half an hour because time is money in the studio. No one's going to say, oh, he's a rubbish drummer because you had to write everything out. They're going to say, he's an amazing drummer. He did it in 10 minutes. So that's what I do.